Get off the road! All right. Hi, I'm Mike of Mike's Road Trip, and I actually just returned from a road trip in this sweet unit behind me. Now, I rented this RV on a peer-to-peer -peer platform called RVZ, which is just like Airbnb, but for RVs. Now, I had such a wonderful experience that I thought I need to ask the owner what it's like to rent out his baby to strangers like me. So he actually gracefully agreed and is waiting inside. So this is Chris Polk. He is the owner of this Class C Winnebago. Chris, thank you so much for taking a few moments for me. Not a problem. Yeah, so tell me, um, how long have you been using peer-to-peer -peer RV services? Uh, probably just a little over two years. Okay. I think we started in September of 2018. Okay. Yeah. So what made you consider renting out your RV? Well, you know, growing up as a kid, um, my grandfather had an RV, an old Winnebago, which is exactly what this one mm. is. I've always been a Winnebago fan, I think, just because of my grandfather's uh, old Dodge. And um, every vacation we took was in the Winnebago. Mm. I mean, we saw so much of the U.S. Uh, I was living in Tennessee at the time, and uh, you know, we came out out west on a vacation, 14-day trip in the in the RV, and uh, I fell in love with Arizona on that trip. Mm. Which one reason why I'm here. But um, I just loved it. I love the, the, the way to unplug. You know, this back then you did, there was nothing to unplug from, but now it's like, okay, I need to unplug. <laughs> um, but no, I just, I felt like it was a great way to kind of get outdoors, but yet still have kind of the comfort of, of you know, a house, so to speak, on wheels. And uh, didn't matter what the weather was, you know, I just, I enjoyed the RV. But um, we, were, we were looking at taking a road trip. I talked my sister and her family into flying out and doing a 10 day road trip. And we were looking at uh, looking at renting an RV, and um, and it was going to be expensive. It it really was. And by the time I factored in the miles and, and everything that we wanted to do, I was like, man, that's a, about a down payment on one of these things. And talked with my wife, and I said, look, I think we could we could just buy one. I, you know, I, I enjoy it, and we'll just rent it out, just like what we were looking at doing. So we ended up doing that and and started renting it out. And I think what I like the most about actually renting out my RV is giving other families an opportunity to experience some of that joy that I had as a kid, especially now where it's hard enough to get kids to get their face out of their phone yeah, right, or right. their iPad or whatnot and just say, hey, look at, look what's outside. You know, there's a lot of stuff to see in, in the U.S. and a lot of things that we're so close to around here and, and in the Phoenix area, I mean, we can, we can rent 12 months out of the year here because mm. it's... <laughs> It's always hot. And so people can drive literally, you know, you go 600 miles from here and you can see Utah, you can see Colorado, right, you can see right. California. And um, I think it's really cool because I get a lot of people that'll rent and they're like, you know, we're thinking about buying one, but we just wanted to see how exactly. we liked it. And then they're right. all, I've had literally more come back go, yeah, we're totally gonna do this. This is awesome. And I'm like, hey, cool. If I could help you get in and experience that, then then that's that's really what I'm in this for. Is, yeah. I mean, it's. You know, you're not going to get rich renting out your RV. Let's, I mean, there's, there's. But guys, it helps offset. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, yeah. I know people that have six, seven, eight RVs, and oh yeah, they make it the full time job. Mm -hmm. uh, for us, it's just the ability to to have an asset that we can use, but then we can share it with other people, and and just call it a win win yeah. situation. Yeah, that's awesome. So, have you had any issues with renters or any claims that you've had to make? You know. No, Nothing significant, you know. The when you're renting out your RV, what I tell people is basically, if you were to buy an RV to use, you're basically going to use it four or five times a year if you're lucky. When you're renting it out, you're sometimes renting it out four or five times a month. So you're basically adding years of wear and tear every year. Right. A lot right. more than what the RV was probably set up to handle. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to have things. You know, you're going to have a, a cabinet door or you're going to have uh, somebody accidentally break a strap or, or things like that that you just have to deal with. Um, you know, we, we've been very fortunate. I, I think I had one person accidentally sideswipe a, a barricade one time. Didn't do anything really major, but, you know, filed an insurance claim, uh, received the money. Mm -hmm. Everything worked exactly like it was supposed to. But we've been very fortunate. Had very, uh, very good renters. Uh, people take very good care of the RV. Uh, a lot of them are very appreciative of the shape that it's in, and, and I feel like they feel the ownership to make sure they yeah, give it back yeah. in the same way. So it, it's nothing that I would be fearful of, as far as you know, if I was 
potentially thinking about renting out my RV, mm -hmm. the process is very simple. The insurance, everything, that's the great thing about using a peer-to-peer -peer platform is they take care of the contracts, the insurance, the driver's license, verification, things like that, that, um, you know, if I were to try to do this by myself, yeah. trying to remember all the odds and ends would yeah, be a little yeah, tricky. Yeah. So this is my first time using RVZ, and I'm just curious as an RV owner, what made you choose them? You know, the online platforms, they just make it so easy. You know, they, they really do. They handle from the, from like we talked about earlier, the driver's license verification to the insurance to um, you know, just all the agreements, mm -hmm. whatnot. I mean, they, they basically, all I have to do is <laughs> accept your rental and then, you know, they deposit the money and then when it comes back, we check it over, make sure everything's good and, and it's about as easy as it could be. They, they basically handle filtering out any of the, uh, you know, bad actors, so mm -hmm. to speak. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, going, going with them, it, it was just super easy. You know, the peer-to-peer -peer platforms really are the way to go and, and, and most people like working with individuals. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you want to know, you know, like this is my rig. I know everything about the inside and the outside of it. It's not a, a fleet vehicle that yeah. you don't know what happened yeah. with it. Yeah. So I really like I really like the personal approach with yeah. the peer to peer. So So would you have any recommendations or advice for other R V owners looking to uh, rent their, their unit on uh, RVZ or any other platform? Yeah. You know, to to rent out your vehicle you have to realize that <laughs> you almost have to not have a personal attachment. Okay, because you, you have to share. Yeah, you know, yeah, you, you yeah. have to share your vehicle. I have a friend of mine that said, oh, I'd never rent mine out. I don't want anybody in my RV. Okay, well, that's fine. But, uh, you know, I, I don't mind sharing the experience. So you have to have the right mindset to know that, that you're, you're helping someone else have an enjoyable experience in their vacation. Yeah. I always tell people I want my RV to be a memorable portion of your vacation for the right reasons and not for the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you have to you have to care that it's going to be in, in top operating form so that it mm -hmm. adds value to their trip. And you just have to, you know, for me, I feel like you have to want to help other people have a, an awesome experience. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you, you got to have the right mindset. Um, you know, there's there's a lot a lot of people that want to be a little too nitpicky on things. And for me, no, I just, you know, I, I want to have a very straightforward Hey Mike, here's Marvy. Here's everything you get. Yeah. Go have fun. Yeah. So. Well, I have to tell you, I had a fantastic time, and I want to thank you so much, Chris. And it was a pleasure to meet you. Very nice to meet you. All right. Take care now. Yeah.